Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I can only apologise it's taken so long to get the next video up. Um, yeah man, I'm a busy guy. My priorities are work, as usual. Um, so, yeah, apologies for that. So, quick short video now, I'm going to do on air production, commercial vehicle air production and air drying. So, I've got a problem with a Renault tractor unit. Here she is. Now, the complaint has been um, high air consumption and um, a continuous air leak. So having checked the vehicle out, not with diagnostic, just spending some time with the vehicle, I've noticed that it's um, leaking air out of the exhaust of the air dry, the APM air production module, um, which is here. This bad boy here, this here is responsible for uh, metering the air supply, distributing the air supply and using this filter here, this here is an air dryer, uh, it's responsible for separating the uh, condensation produced from the hot air and the oil uh, so that no shit gets into the valves, basically. Um, yeah, because they, they do produce a lot of uh, a lot of carbon and a lot of uh, moisture because the compressed air of the truck gets very hot and then it cools by the time it gets to the valve, so therefore it condensates. So, um, I put my hand underneath the exhaust of the air dryer and I could see that there was a lot of condensation, so I immediately suspected that the air dryer was full of water. So having removed the filter, I could see that it was full. Now, I've got two filters here side by side. You can tell the difference. You see this carbon? All that carbon. That comes from the compressor. And we've got a uh, carbon trap here, which sits inside. Well, compare it to a new one here. So what I'll do now is I'll do a quick um, assembly I'll put it back together for you so you can see what's going on here. So, this goes in here. Just for the record, when I cleaned in here out, or when I, when I removed the filter, this was full of water. Which is normal stuff, it's, that's, it's normal, it's doing what it's supposed to do. So that drops into there, look at that. Here's our new filter. You get a sachet of grease with it. Oh, look at that. Just in case we didn't need enough of them, they've sent us four. We only need one. In a world of economic turn turmoil, uh, it's not very uh, eco-friendly, is it? Put sachet of grease here. Just bear with us. I'll put you up here. How's that for you? Can you see me now, boys and girls?
There she is, built up. We'll drop that in. There is a calibration process I'm going to need to carry out using the diagnostics, which I'll take you through. Um, you just have to bear with me. I'll get this thing uh, mechanically put back together. Try to do this one handed. Half handed. Done my finger. That's what happens when you drill into it with a six and a half mil drill bit. Didn't try to, like. Then that shit happened. This locking ring goes over it, like that. Goes on there. And you use this to special socket. Fits up there. When you're ready, like in your own time. Come on. Make something in, right? Just bear with us. Shine some light on the matter. There she goes. That big ring locks in there. 45 degrees. It clamps it all down. Then we have one of these and an O-ring. Create a seal. Talks piece. It screws into the back there. You see that? It screws in the back And what we do, for my own sake, is I'll write the date, today's date on the top of the filter. The reason I do that is because it gives me a good reference of how long these parts are lasting. Um, I believe we're on the 9th. Eight. Twenty-three. So, I'm going to show you a bit of magic now. You ready for this? This, this is going to blow your mind, this is. Three, two, one. Look at that. What happened? Honestly. So. Here's the gel test. So I did mention that I was going to calibrate the um, 
the APM. So we do that this way. We go into maintenance reset. Select air dryer. Connect. Yes, I've accepted the terms and conditions of use. Now you see this here, remaining decedent. Tells me that I've got 56% of it left. Yeah, when I... <coughs> when I removed the filter, it was full of water and carbon. And this is why I prefer to date, to put a date of installation on top of the filter housing, because it gives me a good gauge as to how long the components are actually lasting, rather than what the computer says. Now, from experience, um, you generally get about six months out of a Volvo Renault air dryer before it needs replacing, though the technical data states that you've got 12 months, and that's a load of shit, basically. Um, they last about six months, and that's it. So I've been sent this one, this, this air dryer here, I've been sent this by Andy Truck Parts, Andy Edwards of Truck Parts North Wales. Thank you. Told you I'd get around to making a video one day. Well, here it is. Boys at Truck Parts, it's worth a mention. Truck Parts North Wales, top lads. Anything you need, commercial vehicle wise, hit them up. They're good lads. They've got their own website, blah, 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 blah. You know what, Andy? So, back to business. 56% remaining. That's a load of shit. We've established that. So, let's reset it. The process has finished. How about that? Turn off the ignition for 10 seconds. It's probably better to do as it says. Is that 10 seconds? Let's try that. That's all good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. I suppose I shall be seeing you again soon. Oh, probably not soon, probably next year sometime. But there we are. I try and keep up with the videos if I can. Um, Thank you for subscribing, carry on subscribing to anyone who has, I can only thank you, I appreciate it and I appreciate the kind words and the comments that you leave me as well, it's very encouraging, um, just know that um, my lack of producing videos is not for a lack of interest in the page, in the, in the YouTube channel, it's purely a fact that I'm one very very busy guy in high demand, so um, I, have to, I have to keep people happy first, so. Over and out, the other road, and you're